In square 9, you got permission from the university to conduct the study. In square 10, you assign subjects to treatment conditions, get their informed consent, collect the data, and debrief each participant. In some experiments, subjects must be assigned to treatment. You have to determine who gets the wonder drug and who gets the placebo. You could go every other one or first come first served, but those patterns are not random enough. You want to avoid even quasi-patterns. The primary method for assignment is chance. To avoid experimenter bias, you let chance decide. You use a table of random numbers or a computer that generates such a table. In our experiment, we don't have any treatment conditions to assign to. You can't randomly assign people to left or right-handed. We have to take people as they are. In fact, our hypothesis depends on people being who they are. One thing we do have to do is get our subjects to agree to participate. Although we got institutional approval for the study, we also need each subject to grant permission. They've signed up. Some will even show up. But we need more than presumed consent. We need informed consent. Subjects have rights. They are free to leave when they want. Free to be grumpy, free to participate or not participate. So before we do anything to them, we must ask their permission. The process is called informed consent. Subjects must be informed of what will happen during the experiment and how the data will be used afterward. The idea is to warn subjects of conditions that might be stressful or harmful to them. Some people might not want to run on a treadmill, be injected with a drug, or be spun in a chair. So you must inform them of the general parameters of the study. Finding the balance of telling and hiding information can be tough. This is another reason an IRB is good. They've already signed off on your experimental design and the content of your consent form. With a signed document of informed consent, we collect the data. In our case, it is pretty straightforward. We give our subjects a personal information form. One of the questions in the middle of the items asks if they are left or right-handed. When the subject hands in the form, our assistant checks to be sure every question is answered and then sends the subject to the IQ tester. After the experiment is over, each subject is given all the information about the experiment. This step is called debriefing. After you are done with the subject, you spend a few minutes with them explaining what and why, and let them ask questions. Then you thank them for coming and move on to the next subject. You repeat this process until you have collected all of your data.